Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to see how to install a VNC server on a Raspberry Pi. We will see first an introduction to VNC systems. We will see how to install our preferred VNC server, which is called Tight VNC on a personal computer. Then we will see how to install the Tight VNC server on a Raspberry Pi. And finally, we will see how to use both the server and the client to do a connection from our personal computer with our Raspberry Pi through our Wi Fi network. First, a little bit about VNC. VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. It was originally developed by Olivetti and Oracle Research Lab in Cambridge, UK. And VNC is a system that allows us to remotely control a computer using a graphical environment. So this is very convenient with our Raspberry Pi because we can control the Raspberry Pi from our personal computer without connecting anything else to the Raspberry Pi and using a graphical environment. My favorite VNC server and client is this one, Tight VNC. It is a free software that we can download from this link here and then on this website we can see all this information so we have here the installer for windows 64 bit or windows 32 bit we only have to download the file that we need for our system and just install the software, which is very easy to do. The software will install a server and a client. So once we have installed the software, we will see this shortcut with the tight VNC viewer, which is the one that we need today. Now the next step is to install the tight VNC server on our Raspberry Pi. So we are going to see how to do this. First, we are going to establish an SSH connection with our Raspberry Pi. For this, as we know, we write this command as we have seen in previous videos of this series. We enter our password. And now we are on our Raspberry Pi. So we use this command here to install the tight VNC server. We do to do apt get install tight VNC server. And just wait until everything is finished. Now it's ready, so we only have to run the server by executing this command here. VNC server colon 1. 1 is the number of screen that we are going to use, so we typically use 1 as default. We press enter and then the server is already running. So now we only have to open our client on our computer, like this. I write here the IP of our Raspberry Pi. We enter here our password again, and then we can see here the screen corresponding to our connection with our Raspberry Pi. So we can use it normally. We can open any program that we like. We can open our files and use our Raspberry Pi remotely in the same way as we do when we connect the keyboard, the screen and everything, but in a much easier way. Finally, it's very convenient to run the VNC server at the startup of the Raspberry Pi. So for this, we have here what we have to do. First, we go to the Pi directory. 
we enter into the dot config directory which is a hidden directory here if we cannot see the auto start folder we have to create it using this command here make directory auto start then we enter into the auto start directory and create this file tight vnc.desktop i usually employ the nano editor for this and then in this file we write these statements here and with this we will have our vnc server running from the startup of our Raspberry Pi. So let's take a look here. If we go to our folder, home, I, we cannot see here the config directory because it's hidden, but we can go to it. Then we can see the auto start directory. So we can go auto start. And here we can see another setup for the startup, but this is the one that we want. So we can open it to see it. So these are the statements that we have to add. Press Control X. And with this, everything is ready. So we can run the VNC server from the beginning, from the startup, and connect to our Raspberry Pi using our computer client without doing anything else. Well, this concludes this presentation today. I hope that this information is useful for you. Please let me know if you have any comment or question. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye now.